Hello again, DB here. This is December the 3rd, 2010. Um, just want to make a quick little video tonight. I uh, haven't made one for a while. Uh, been sitting back taking in all the news, uh, all the events going on around the, uh, our country, uh, the United States, and around the world. Um, Watch the revolt, results of the uh, November election in this country. Uh, but, you know, guys, the same old shit uh, is happening, and it's getting worse. Uh, we have, uh, well, we now have a, uh, a split, a divided Congress, which, uh, if nothing else, will ensure that we do have gridlock, uh, which will be a good thing compared to what's happened the last couple of years. Um, uh, lots happened, uh, but uh, the Congress we have now, uh, they're already posturing the, the, the newly elected Republicans and uh, uh, Patriot or Tea Party people, whatever you want to label them, uh, they're, uh, they're not going to do what needs to be done to help people in this nation. Uh, they're already showing their hand right now. Uh, they're bickering over the extending the Bush year tax cuts. Uh, they're holding out to uh, uh, to get an extension for for all uh, income tax brackets, uh, even the higher ones. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, I've always heard while well, growing up, you know, a, a half a loaf's better than none. Uh, and the half a loaf in this case, uh, that the Democrats are willing to compromise on is, uh, the half a loaf that's going to benefit those hardest hit and the most needy, uh, to receive the extension and the tax cuts. Uh, yet the, uh, the, the Republicans are going to hold off, hold out, uh, you know, so we're going to have the same crap. Uh, they need to, they need to take what they can get. Incrementalism, it's what they do best. Take a piece here, take a piece there. Move forward. But you know, no, why, you know, that's gonna to help too many people. Why would they want to do that? Shit. Uh, look. The, uh, the, the unemployment extension. I, you know, I've been unemployed. It's been a while, uh, since I drew unemployment. Quite a while, but, uh, you know, I, I never received 99 weeks of unemployment for any, for many, for any length of time. 99 weeks. Guys, you know, I just gonna piss some of you off, especially those that have been unemployed for a long time, but, you know, 99 weeks should be the max. Period. Period. You know, I feel for you, uh, but we gotta move on. We can't keep doing this. We cannot keep paying people to not work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. You know, give those that are still, that are unemployed now up to that limit. Uh, you know, and then, hey, you know, dive in, take any job you got to take. You know, that's the way it is. That's the way it is. Um, TSA, yeah, how about that big ball of wax? Yeah, they want to stick their hands down your pants because you don't want to be radiated. How about that? Needless to say, you know, I don't want to spend much time on the talk, topic of the TSA. Uh, it's wrong. It should never have got to this point. Uh, we should not allow it to get any further. Uh, you know, what are they going to do now? Put it in malls? Bus terminals? Uh... Shit, you gotta be patted down before you walk into your bank and withdraw money or make a transaction there. Yeah. Yeah, let's just put it everywhere. Well, that's how I feel about that. It's bullshit. It's another form. They're testing us. Uh, they want to see what we'll put up with, how much more we can take, you know, what they can do. Uh, just, you know, opt out. Don't do it. Don't fly. Economic news. Uh, I don't know if any of you have been watching or paying attention, but, uh, man, they are bidding up the commodities worldwide big time. Uh, corn, 
uh, wheat futures, all, uh, you know, <laughs> pork, beef, you name it. Oil, gold, silver, it's all headed up. And you know, most of the, the commodities, look, everybody has to have food. You have to eat. You don't eat, you die. So, people aren't spending their money. As liberal, liberal as they, as they once did in this nation because everybody's hurting. Uh, most everyone's hurting. Now, they're gonna go ahead and, uh, food's gonna increase because of these, uh, speculators bidding up futures contracts on the, uh, commodities that we all need to survive. And, uh, that's wrong. Uh, if we have to go to it, our government needs to step in at one point when the prices get too outrageous to, to afford uh, on the food source, foods, food supply, then uh, the government's going to have to step in with price controls. And I know a lot of people say, oh, well, price controls, that's a bad thing, that's a bad thing. Well, if it's going to keep people from starving to death and being able to afford to eat decent, then, you know, do it. It's got to be done. What can I say? You know, I don't want to see people starve in this country. It's ridiculous. Uh, the Europeans, look what they're going through right now, man. Uh, Europe is getting ready to, to it's, it's teetering. The euro is dropping. Uh, the banks are, are just raiding the countries. Ireland was just plundered uh, to go along with Greece. Uh, the French went through their own thing last month, month before, with their austerity on their retirement age. Um, you know, they're going to move on to the next country and the next country, and it's just going to keep keep happening. Uh, eventually, they're going to get to the United States in a bigger way, uh, where they say, hey, you know, we have no more money to pay your pensions. Um, they'll probably implode the stock market before then, uh, and devalue everything that you have towards your retirement. So don't be surprised when that happens. Uh, but look, I, you know, I've been waiting for some good news to, to, to get on here and, and talk about as well as the bad, but it's not there. I, you know, it's just, there's, there's not, there's nothing good happening and it hasn't been for quite a while. Uh, where's this all headed? Well, you know, I, I hope everyone has uh, supplied themselves with, uh, with the essentials, you know, stockpile some food and water in your home. Guns and ammo, of course, because uh, we don't know where this is headed. Uh, but it's obvious that the, the newly elected officials from November, uh, they're not going to do what needs to be done to help the people. Uh, they're just going to play their games, move the agenda forward for the new world order. It's not going to stop. So, you know, just uh, prepare yourself the best you can. Uh, if you can buy some silver, uh, gold's getting, getting pretty pricey. As well as silver, but it's still affordable. Uh, so I would get some if you don't have any. Uh, mainly food and water, uh, and a way to protect it. Um, guys, that's really all I had to say tonight. Um, uh, thanks for your time. Have a great evening.